Hi guys! Um, so today we're going to be continuing on from the previous uni advice video. So in regards <laughs> to um, friends, you're starting in, as you start a new place, a new um, time in your life, um, you're going to be making new friends. And it's very, very important that you are careful of the kind of friends you do make. Um, because uh, the friends you will make will influence you. You are in a different environment where you're not, you're away from your old friends and, um, well, you might be lucky to come with them, but, and you're not around family. So the friends you have, you're going to be spending a lot of time with them unless you're like a loner, which I wouldn't advise because you can turn crazy. <laughs> but, yeah, it can't Just be a loner like for too much, too long. You have to make yeah. friends. Yeah. In the environment of university, I, d I don't even understand how you could do it yourself. Yeah. To be it's actually quite dangerous because everything in university is very independent. Yeah. So, um, you know, your education is very independent. You're yeah. alone in your room. You don't really. Yeah. yeah. It can be very it, easy it, to actually isolate can, yourself. Yeah. So you try to not isolate yourself yeah. too much. Get to know people. Be open-minded when you come into uni. Mm -hmm. um, when you know when you come to uni, when you're first stepping in first year. You're not gonna know everyone's morals. You're not gonna know what everyone's like. Yeah. Um, you're not gonna know what background they're coming from. So just come with an open mind, in an open in the sense that you're still wise, but you know, st be nice to everyone. Um, you know, be ready to meet new people. Mm -hmm. Don't don't close yourself off to the sort of people that um, you were probably friends with in the past, and be like, oh, I only want to be friends with people that look this way. Because that's not mm -hmm. what I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> what I'm trying to say. So. Um, yeah. It's yeah, true. so be open minded. Um, but I would say apply wisdom as well. So give it time. It doesn't take a week for a friendship to develop. So, you know, give it time. Always it will happen naturally. Don't compromise yeah. your morals. It's very easy to feel like, oh, I'm the only one who thinks this way or um if I don't change the way I am, I might not be able to make friends in uni. Well, so, so, it's so weird because at the start of uni, it feels like everyone is the same, feels like everyone acts the same. But it's mm -hmm. a thing where people are different, but they're scared to be different because everyone yeah. acts the same, if that makes sense. And naturally, you'll find like your friendships evolving like towards the people that are more like you as well. Yeah. That's something that I noticed. So yeah, Let's don't be see. scared if it looks at f if it at first looks like people don't have the same morals as you because there'll always be someone who thinks the same as you who doesn't want to do this for the same reasons you don't want to do it so don't be so quick to compromise or to drop the things that you believe in just because you've come into uni show me your friends i'll show you your character so it's very likely that however your friends will behave you will also behave because you're around them so much even if you try to deny it when you actually if you're honest with yourself when you actually think about it um you you do act alike so and it's also because um the things they talk about you also yeah when you're around something a lot you just tend to move towards that thing mm. and um, proverbs twenty seven seventeen um the nlt version says as iron sharpens iron so a friend sharpens his friend mm. and yeah so what you're when you're around your friends the way you encourage each other you could be encouraging each other positively or negatively it's never just going to be like a neutral thing you're either moving forward and you're moving backwards yeah. it's really important not to overlook the influence that your friends can have on you go to places as well that you know allows you to find friends that are on the same wavelength as you so if you want people who are you know very creative go to some you know one of the societies with creative people where you can meet people like you um you know if you want people who are very intelligent you know stay behind for the if you guys have little what are those things called Clips? sessions oh. those we call it um sod sessions i don't know what As, it would be um, i think you guess that it's sorting out difficulties yeah those yeah they sort of meet up to discuss with fellow students seminars sort of things <laughs> Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah. So there are ways to kind of reach out to people that are more like you, if that makes sense. You shouldn't feel pressured into kind of just um, sticking to the first batch of friends that you find. Or, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like there are ways to kind of meet more like-minded people, and you should be aware of those ways. Like, if possible, research before going to uni. Yeah. But the best place to make friends will probably be in church. And if you're lucky enough, that like we were, to be somewhere where there is a church where, like, there are youth churches, then, yeah, it will just be easier to just be around 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, find find yourself grounded in something. Commit yourself to something because something that you're committed to is where you'll find long lasting friends. Yeah. If that makes sense. So if you go Definitely. to something every week, you're seeing the same people every week. So you're more likely to find a long term friend mm-hmm. in that sort of environment. So church, for example, we all met in church. And, you know, because we've, we've been going to church consistently and we see each other all the time, it allowed us to f- build a relationship, like, naturally. Friendship yeah, well, like, like, just it just happened. It wasn't, like, a sort of, like, oh, I'm forcing to now. Mm, yeah. I'm now looking out for friends. Just because you're always around them. You yeah. just naturally become friends with them. Yeah. yeah. And also, in that sort of environment, that's why it's key as well. The environment where you meet people says a lot about how the friendship or how the relationship is going to turn out. Mm-hmm. So, you know, watch out for that as well. Yeah, so just a quick touch on relationships. At the end of the day, yeah, there's not a lot I can give you, but what I can say from what I've seen is um, don't come to uni, like, just looking to enter relationships. Like, there's nothing wrong with it, and we're taught in church that there's nothing wrong with um, wanting to enter a relationship, but, like, don't let it that be your main focus because um, it seems like when people have come to uni, things move very, very fast paced. It's not like when you're at home, mm. and because you you can see each other every single day, mm. and like I have seen people like get hurt from it, mm. and yeah. So my advice to you is just what we get to, told in church is just to have friends and just yeah. keep friends and um, um, give yourself time to get to know people. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Ecclesi- yeah, Ecclesiastes three one tells us that there's a time for everything, so we shouldn't be too quick to rush. Like even um, our pastor, Pastor Daniel, always says that we're young, so we shouldn't r- there's like we shouldn't rush the stage we're in. Yeah. So just enjoy. The season. Yeah, just That's enjoy true. the season, mm-hmm. and yeah, don't don't wear your heart on your sleeve as well. Mm. And girls as well, I would say when you come to uni, you know, just guard your heart. Not guard your heart as in, like, be cold to everyone, but know that all, you've come to uni, which is a very, like, closed-off mm. environment for, from everything else. So um, you find all sorts of people in there. That's so true. don't be so quick to um, allow people to play with your heart or to play with your yeah. emotions, if that makes sense. Don't be too vulnerable too quickly. Don't be too open too quickly. Yeah, just have friends, basically, I think is a take-home message from this. Just have friends. And don't have it in your mind. Like, don't be too focused on finding someone or finding a relationship. As you go to uni, my, I think the best, best, best advice I could give to you is to make sure you find the church mm. and yes. join a church and um, become a regular member of the church. Um, so, for from our experience. Um, we can tell you about there's a church called First Love Church mm-hmm. and uh, when I say it, I don't care what you've heard or if you've heard anything if you haven't heard anything I'm telling you it's an amazing church um, it's full of young vibrant people who are hungry 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 for the Lord and um, personally for me um, I so I've come from like a Muslim background so the first kind of church I went to was a family church and I feel like you're just around when you're around older people you just think oh yeah they're just like they're really in on fire for God because they've seen things in life like mm. I know like I've heard stories about old like older people that they've when you hear like what they've gone through they've actually gone through quite a lot mm. so you don't like you don't dispute why they're so like into God but then when you're around young people who have are on fire, it really, really encourages you that you're not the only one. Mm. And yeah, that goes on to say like about um when it became a saying, don't come and just like um compromise yeah, morals. compromise your morals. Mm-hmm. Like there are other people Definitely. like you would think, oh no. Exactly. And it's normal because even like back home it, and the way the world is going at the moment. Mm-hmm. It's very rare for you to see a young person on fire for Christ. Yeah, even People, on the typical, yeah. sorry, even on the typical like university scene, you won't see it. It, it just mm-hmm. doesn't seem like there's as many people yeah. that will have that mindset that I will actually want to be close to God. I actually want to go to church. Mm-hmm. So you can easily be deceived into thinking that there aren't other people. But in the environment of church and a good church, you will see. Um, those people you will see people like you 
Mm. And that's the amazing thing about going to a church, especially mm. a church for young people. Mm. Yeah. Cool. And also, um, going to church also creates activities for you because I feel like mm. when you come to uni, um, it can be quite easy. Well, for me personally, I was like, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to do certain things. I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to do this. But if you're taking something out, you need to fill that void with something else. Mm-hmm. If not, you're just going to feel like, oh, I'm just by myself at home. Because it might seem like everyone at uni, yeah. or they all just do a, live a certain type of life. Mm-hmm. But if you don't want to live that, you need to find pe- other a people who would do something else, a replacement for that. So me going to church, I found other Christian things that I could do as well. You know, games night, we had um, Christmas ball, you know, things that I can enjoy mm-hmm. and be like, okay, you know what? I have somewhere to go as well. Yeah, I've exactly. got somewhere to look nice to as well, but it's godly. And, you know, I'm not getting convictions and feeling guilty when I go say you know yeah it's always good to be a part of something like that where you know I'm having clean fun yeah exactly and don't be discouraged because I found that during freshers week there was absolutely nothing for me to do I was actually in my room for the whole week and especially when it's a time when you're trying to make friends that's quite um hard because you just feel like oh how am I gonna make friends now you're just staying in your room talking to absolutely no one um, but I don't 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 be discouraged. And um, first love will be um, holding. Don't always hold um, freshers events. As you have like you do join the church, make sure you like go on a weekly basis because it's very easy. Like if you've come from a home where your parents take you to church every week, it might not have been a thing where you willingly wanted to go. And that will show when you come to uni and then you're going to church every month or like if once, yeah, or maybe once every three weeks. Um, but it's just very, very important. Like if you want to stay in church, the best thing to do is actually to um, be doing something in church or even have friends in church. Yeah. So if it's a thing where you're going to uni um, with the mindset of, oh, I don't want to, um, move away from Christ the best thing to do is like make yourself known in the church there's a thing where if you were to run away they'll know and they'll be able, not to keep tabs on you but it's a good thing when they keep tabs on you because like we're all trying to yeah we're yeah, trying to exactly. make heaven aren't we so it it might be annoying but at the end of the day we have to think about our souls because mm-hmm. we're gonna die one day <laughs> and and <laughs> yeah. we're gonna relax <laughs> I mean sorry to be yeah so morbid <laughs> But it's true, it's true. And it's nice to have people that care about you like that, especially linking to the whole independence of university, being away from home, for those of you that will be away from home, being away from your family and stuff. It's nice to have people that they genuinely care about you and your well-being. So, um, I think another important point is um, finding a church that's suited to you personally. Um, I know that where my university is, there are a lot of churches, a lot of churches, so we have a lot of variety, we're blessed in that sense. And um, I know that when I first found um, First Love Church, when I first found my church, one of the things I struggled with was kind of feeling, like when I went back home, I felt kind of obliged to um, still carry on going to my home church. And there's nothing wrong with my home church, like it was perfectly fine, and I was growing there spiritually, but I do feel that um, my spiritual growth was kind of more rapid and more evident as soon as I came to First Love Church and um, my relationship with Jesus basically changed. So I think it's important to not feel, maybe if you have a home church, or I'm not saying, I'm not telling anyone to leave their church, you don't need to leave your home church. If you're happy there, that's completely fine. You can hopefully find a branch when, when you go to uni. But um, it's important to look at yourself and your personal spiritual growth when deciding on a church. So I think that's really important to consider. So um, here's a list of the universities, the cities which have um, a first love in it. Um, the best thing to do is look on Instagram. They all have an Instagram page. And if your university does not fall under one of these cities, I say just do your research, like do your research, ask your pastors back home or just ask around to see um, what's available. They usually like societies as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, what's it called? Like Christian Union. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, so just, just deeply do research. <laughs> yeah, so one thing that made me comfortable here, I'd say, was decorating my room, which is a video, my room, my room hacks video. 
where you can see how I like the kind of things I did for my room and it's just nice to feel comfortable in your room because you just feel like you're in a university environment or in a hotel yeah and and you're going to be spending a lot of time there so you yeah. might as well feel at home there. yeah like it becomes especially if you don't like to mingle with your housemates or whatever it's going to yeah. become your house you're going to be there a lot yeah so, so make it your house yeah. make it homely feel comfy waiting for behavior and one thing that really helped me with my transition um, into university was I think putting pictures up on my wall. Um, to be fair, in first year, my wall wasn't like banging, as banging as it is now, but like I had a couple of pictures, like pictures, no, <laughs> why you laughing? Claudia had, no, no, no. Claudia had scriptures <laughs> in an A4 paper that she wrote, <laughs> she wrote down. <laughs> no, they're lying. It was, prop- it was printed out. It was printed out. Was it printed? Out. Yeah, they oh, were printed. And her pictures were in black and white. <laughs> The A4 papers in my You're life. actually lying, guys. Don't listen to her. But now she's got nice pictures. Yeah, my pictures know they are nice. Just because they're not all as Z as her, she they thinks that nice. nice. They, they, it's actually working. But in first year. It's working this year, but in first year, it wasn't too popping. <laughs> but like, it's better than the bare cream wall. And yeah. I had like pictures of my family as well, and a couple of encouraging scriptures. So that. I, as soon as I put them up, I felt a bit better because I wasn't, my room was basically a bit of a deception. So I wasn't expecting it to be as bare and like empty as it was. And it was just very plain and I didn't like it. But as soon as I put my pictures up, that really helped me. Like it just helps. Little things like that actually do make a difference. So yeah. That's something that helped me. Making it your own style, making your bed sheets your own style. Yeah. You know, primarily. Now, that's true. Yeah, because now you've got the chance, like you're not at home where exactly. your mom determines what your bed yeah. sheets looks like. So I guess that's a good thing. Yeah. That we're say. You know, if you're very vintage style, like artsy over here, artsy, then you know, <laughs> you get a chance to explore with your own. Yeah, definitely. Make the most of it. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in my next video. What? She said, My. <laughs> <laughs> well, most of all, stay, stay artsy. artsy. Oh my days. Oh my God. <laughs> No, forgive, forgiveness, 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 so forgiveness will take you far, please. This girl is slow. <laughs> she just watched us in the eye. <laughs> See that? So that's it from us, guys. I really hope that these two videos have been of help. Um, if there are any concerns you'd like us to know about, just leave a comment down below. Let us know what unis you're planning to go to and what you're planning to study. And um, just like, leave a comment, and subscribe. But most of all, Stay, Stay up, see.